I'm in the groove of the show right now. I am. Uh, I am. Uh, I'm doing okay. Thank you for your concern. Okay. I'm. I'm, I'm doing okay. Good. <laughs> All right, it's called Ask a Pink Cat, and what happens is that uh, everyone loves the young ladies that are going to the Red Sox games. They like to wear pink jerseys and pink hats. They like to sing loudly when Sweet Caroline comes on. They like to uh, stand and take pictures in the middle of innings. They like to do a a lot of things, and uh, what we do is we introduce you to one of the pink hats, and then we give them five fairly basic uh, baseball questions, and you get to guess how many they'll get right. We'll play for these... uh, Callaway Tour golf balls that Phil Mickelson uses will give you 12. A few sleeves. So let's meet the uh, contestant first, and then we'll uh, get to her fun. Now, it's okay we use this for the radio? Permission granted if these two can help me. What, what made you decide that I want to become a Red Sox fan? I guess I'm from New England. I love Red Sox. Who's your favorite player on the Red Sox? Who's ever on the back of my T-shirt? Who's on the back? Matsuzaka? <laughs> Yes. Oh, this, right. could, this could be right. an unprecedented act of stupidity right here. <laughs> it's it's funny because I, I actually tried to break it down the other day. Is like how many questions someone would miss judging by just the player on the back of their shirt. Ellsbury, obviously, number one dumbest. If you got Ellsbury on there, you're almost not going to answer one question correct. Then it's the Ortiz and Pedroia jerseys. And here's the reason why. Is that you don't even, they sell those at airports. Yeah. You just want to go in and get a Red Sox jersey, you're going to buy an Ortiz or a Pedroia. They're just there. They send them everywhere. These are the pink jerseys. These are the pink jerseys. And then it goes Papelbon, because everyone knows Papelbon, because he's the good time boy at the end. And then everyone else, it's fair game. If you have a starter... A pitching starter, you probably know something about the game. Do you think that they even yeah. make p- pink jerseys outside of those four players? Yes, yes, they do. I think they make pink jerseys for almost every. You see, you see you can get a Nick Green pink jersey if, uh, if it went to now. Uh, maybe not now. But here's the thing is that the one thing I did not factor in, this beats them all. This is someone who, first of all, does not know who is on the back of her jersey. And second of all, is Matsuzaka. Now, how do you figure. <laughs> Yeah, she like when he first came over, like she like when when you couldn't walk ten feet without someone trying to hawk a Matt Suzaka shirt right. at you. Of all people, right now, to be supporting. Well, I, hold on now. I think the fact that she doesn't care who's on the back of her jersey means she's a baseball fan. No, whoever's a, my wife could tell you shirt? what brand her shoes are, her uh, blouses. <laughs> she could tell you everything on her body. You want to tell me that this? What woman? She probably doesn't has, analyze the clothes she no, has on. She probably has so so many Red Sox shirts. Maybe she just doesn't a, know which one is on. Maybe she just has a bunch of regular Red Sox jerseys and she washed them with like a red sock. So now <laughs> yeah, everything is pink. Go. That's what there the strategy is. is. Sure. Uh, All right, let's meet our contestants. Uh, there's a gentleman uh, claiming to be Josie Scott, which we don't do anymore, <laughs> but. Josie Scott is a singer that's alive, and he lived in the bathroom. We don't need to take him. All right. Uh, d- don't act like Josie Scott. Just uh, who are you? <laughs> this is Josie Scott. All right. Uh, wh- wh- how many is this girl going to get right? <laughs> She's going to get zero. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Josie Scott. <laughs> it's a bit on the old show. <laughs> I kind of guessed that, yeah. A bit that I think that I would get a. I don't even. It's not even worth the time after the show to, t- to even attempt to do it. Alex from Easton, uh, how many out of five will this young lady get correct? She's getting one right. Okay. Okay. Uh, Danny from Salem, zero and one are taken, so I take it uh, you will take two. Oh yeah, I have to take two. All right, Tom from Methuen, you're going to get you are uh, screwed. three. <laughs> And Mike from Wakefield, you will get four. We don't even bother to get the five. Yeah. Because... All right, let's see. Let, let's find out how many questions out of five simple baseball questions or Red Sox questions that this uh, lady will get correct. Now I'm going to ask you a list of questions. Okay. What is a bunt? Okay. Will she know what a bunt is? Oh, God, you got to know what a bunt is. Even these dumb broads got to know what a bunt is. <laughs> yeah, I say she does. She knows. A bunt, yes. Because that's the. Yeah. Is she going to be able to describe it? Now, if she gets close, do we give her credit I, yeah, for that? Yeah, because okay. yeah, like, sure. how do you describe a bunt? How would you describe a bunt when the batter squares and just allows the ball to make contact? Yeah, so well, in her just, case, yeah. it's when the player doesn't hit the ball very far. 
Yeah, but that, that would that would that's count. That's a bun. That would count. That would count. <laughs> Something close. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could you could you know foul a ball into the dirt. I mean, there's you know a lot of ways not to hit the ball. I, I, I know, but I'm thinking about this chick. Yeah, because you know? there's no way she's going to get it right because it's like you you have to describe it. It's we'll give her credit for something. Fairly, like, very close. Or we'll just laugh at her when she tries to describe it. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. So let's go. <laughs> what is a bunt? I know bunt in football. I've never heard of a bunt applying to Red Sox. Okay. Your whole theory is oh, uh, right. out first. the window. The Jersey theory is, <laughs> is gone. Well, as long as, as long as she knows what a bunt is in uh, football. I just figure once, once you're going to find a girl who knows something, and I'm finding Why? out. Not gonna happen. Why would you want to go to a baseball game if you knew so little yeah. about it? Like, it's not like super fun. I mean, you know, like, why don't you just go to like a club or go dancing or something? Why do you want to sit if you don't know what a bunt is? In these games, these Red Sox games, three hours plus usually, except for the game I went to. Thank you, Tim Wakefield. But uh, these are three hour plus games. You know. Sure, you get Sweet Caroline once, and you know they play the uh, the music when the when the guys are coming up. But I mean, other than that, there's a lot of silence. Could you imagine taking this girl to a game if you had any interest at all? What if was she going was hot, on? that's the re- that's the reason you bring her. That, well, she's it doesn't hot, matter. Then, yeah, that's, I mean, obviously, that's excuse. I don't know how she looked. I don't really want to know. But I mean, if a girl's good looking enough, you, I mean, I do anything. I'd, yeah. I'd give her. I'd buy her season tickets. <laughs> all right. Question number two. What is a Grand Slam? Okay. Well, she know a, a Grand breakfast slam. at Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> this, this chick knows nothing. I'm, no. I'm, she's over for the rest of the day. Yeah. Not just with baseball questions either. Yeah. Just how over. Could you, how could you not know that? How Somebody's, could you not know what a bunt is? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. What is a Grand Slam? A home run. <laughs> what is it? Oh, you know, close. I'll give her a half a point. Half a point I was for say, that. Yeah, she's, close. Yeah. It's not. It's a bases loaded home it, it run. It is a home run. When you're dealing with someone who said that she knows what a bunt is in football. <laughs> All right. So do we want to award her a point for that? Half point. Well, half you got to round up because we got somebody zero one. Do you want to give her a point? Then round it up to zero. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to zero. You know, we'll judge by the rest of her answers. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, if she gets another close it's one, it's unfair we'll to the guy point. who called uh, zero to take him out of the considerations because okay. she stri- she technically did not get that correct. Very true. Well, it, it just it, wasn't comedically it, dumb it, enough. If there's another one. That, <laughs> if there's another one that's close, then we'll just round it up to we'll one. Give, okay, give her another half point. All right. What is a full count? Okay, full count. No yeah, chance. No, way. no. No. Again, no this way. is going to be no. a, a card analogy. I, I'm not. Not only should you not get it right, I predict. That there will be a card analogy, or she'll just say, I don't know. She's going to say when the bases are loaded, maybe. That's my prediction. Oh, yeah. Would make sense. That's what it should be. That's what it should be. <laughs> what is a full count? Five. <laughs> hey, you know what? That's partially right. That's partially right. right yeah. Three and two is five. Three and two. Count. That's right. Three and two. <laughs> oh. <laughs> More the guy with, credit. The guy with zero just got screwed. <laughs> How about she got <laughs> half a point for that? <laughs> Three and two is five. I have a feeling when this girl is filling out tests in high school, like it, it, it says who is the first president of the United States, and she puts like ampersand and like <laughs> exclamation points. <laughs> Or like when the teachers and peanuts talked and it was just squiggly lines. Or she just looked at her fingers. Oh. Five. Oh. All right. <laughs> so she's over <0 for> three. <laughs> I don't know. Name one of the catchers for the Red Sox. Okay, one of the catchers for the Red yeah, Sox. No way. See, I could see a reasonably someone going to a game not knowing that. It's. I mean, you know, if they don't follow the team. I don't know, man. I mean, girls love Veritech. He loves girls. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. In a conceivable world where Pedroia signs, will we be able to fly? <laughs> will there be flying cars when Pedroia's contract's up? <laughs> 2015 or whatever. All right. <laughs> will there be an Orwellian hole, hell, of big government? Your calls. <laughs> Tangway's anyway, become the new Chachi, by the way, off air. <laughs> Name one of the catchers for the Red Sox. Ortiz, is he a catcher? Yeah, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Technically. All right, and finally, catch. she is 0 for 4. He could, you know, I figure he's a team guy. He'd do it if he was called upon. <laughs> what is the wild card? All right, no what shit. is the no, wild card? No. I think that we all know. No. Who can I say that she won't get this right? What is the wild card? 
the player who's least likely to score. <laughs> the player's what? It's the least player. likely to score. Ah. So, for instance, uh... <laughs> Do they mean in the clubs? The starting pitcher tonight would be the least likely to score. Or maybe the ugliest player on the team. Because it's Clay, uh, I was about to say Clay Buckholz, but he's like yeah, Clay Buckholz. He's sucking up with Clay that chick. Clay Buckholz is, a, is, Most a, is the man. Clay Buckholz is all right by me. <laughs> all right, so congratulations to, uh, oh, Josie Scott. Uh, congratulations, <laughs> Josie Scott. No, this is Gary Tangway. Thank you very much, Gary. Thank you very much, Gary. At least he conformed to the new show. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about when they were doing all that stuff about Brady resigning in 2011. And, and, and do you know off the top of your head, Wallach, when Pedroia's done?